Hello everybody, I am Pepper and this is the vlog of the year. So it's been a little while since my last video and uh, the main reason for that is that um, I live in Central Florida um, and we have reached a, a point now where the temperatures are up into the low to mid 80s and I used to like doing my little videos on the way to work uh, while I was in the car uh, but unfortunately I have old cars and uh, I don't have any working air conditioning so it's it's just about impossible to um, to do a video with the windows rolled up so unfortunately this is where I'm gonna have to do my videos from home uh, from now on but as you can see uh, I still have my beard so for those of you who thought I might have been done sorry you would have lost that bet uh, I am at week 25 Yesterday made 25 weeks. Uh, my beard now measures from the base of my lip to the bottom of my beard. I'm right at five inches. So I am making good progress. There is a view of the sides. Uh, you know, I continue, I hate to sound like a broken record. I feel like every time I make a video, I'm basically saying the same things. But, but if there's anything I've learned as I now reach the, uh, the halfway mark, if we figure there's 52 weeks in a year, next week would be the, the halfway mark. 26 weeks would make six months, half a year. And if there's one thing that I have learned uh, in these last 25 weeks, aside from patience and incorporating different techniques and trying different things, the one thing I have learned is that the struggle never ends. And we're never satisfied, at least I'm never satisfied with what I have. I follow a ton of other beard vlogs. Uh, I follow boards and all of that sort of thing. And I see everyone else's beard and I feel like everyone has the beard that I want. And I've kind of just resolved, you know, as I shoot for this one year beard, I've resolved to accept what I have and understand and concede to the fact that it's never going to be necessarily the beard that I want. Um, but that's okay, because maybe somewhere out there, there's somebody who wishes they had my beard. Um, have some things gotten easier? Yes, yeah, some things have. But really, for the most part, I struggle with the very same things. You know, the back of my beard has now reached a point where it's, it hits uh, my chest and instead of cascading down because it doesn't have enough length to do that it just kind of bunches up so I constantly have to uh, smooth out the sides of my beards to get that hair down it's it's annoying but I'm sure everyone with a big beard has has gotten to that point where their beard bunched up now it doesn't help that I'm in a collared shirt all day for work I do try to keep the collared shirt to the outside of my beard but when you turn your head from left to right, of course, um, the beard just gets messed up. Um, eventually, I'll probably have to go all the way up to the top button uh, to keep that from happening. But I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But things are going well 25 weeks in. I have not lost motivation. Um, you know, I'm still kind of plugging away, still kind of moving forward still struggling with certain things, still wishing some things were different as far as product goes. Well, the biggest change probably is that a couple of weeks ago, I was on one of the beard forums and I saw a couple of guys discussing a product called Maine and Tail. Now that's not Maine the state, M-A-I-N-E, that is M-A-N-E, as in horse shampoo. Uh, and supposedly, uh, there's a product called Mane and Tail that a lot of bearded guys uh, use with good success. And I was just mind blown by this because I've been so careful about, uh, you know, what I put into my beard, what I avoid putting into my beard. I've really made it a point to kind of try to be very selective about the product I use. So this kind of blew my mind. I purchased Mane and Tail and I've been using it for about a week and I have to tell you it is far and away the softest and most manageable my beard has been. So it comes with a double endorsement from me. It's called Mane and Tail. I think it comes in a, uh, a 12 
and I think they also have 16 ounce bottles. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. I don't use the shampoo every day. I shampoo about every third or fourth day, but I do wash with the conditioner every day, including after I shampoo. Uh, as far as oils go, um, I continue to use Live Bearded brand oils, uh, Grave Before Shave. I've kind of experimented with oils. I don't think I have found any particular one that's of great advantage to any of the others. They all kind of smell different, but really they all have gotten the job done uh, fairly well, and I feel like they all work in a very similar way. So anyway, this is Pepper, and this, and, uh, and this is the vlog of the year, and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I will continue to post a video about every three weeks or so, two to three weeks, and keep you guys posted, of course, from now on. My videos will be shot uh, here in my studio, I guess if that's what you want to call this, from inside my home. So anyway, thanks for following along. Thanks for being with me. The inspiration far and away comes from the bearded community. Without them, uh, I, would have, I would have cut this thing a long time ago. But uh, thank you for being along for the ride, and I will see you next time.